This is a book that just came out in June, the Moonshot book that Alan Shepard, our guest tonight, is part of, uh, the late Deke Slate, and our, our guest last night, uh, Howard Benedict. Alan has signed this book, only 5,000 signed copies. And this really is a, a great compilation of the entire space movement, isn't it, Alan? Well, it really is. Uh, as you, as you mentioned, uh, Deke Slayton was the co-author with me, and about a year and a half ago, Deke, who was the closest to me of all the original mm -hmm. seven astronauts, had a terminal cancer problem, mm -hmm. realized he wasn't going to be around too much longer, and he talked to the two chaps, Benedict and Barbary, mm -hmm. who had been at Cape Canaveral forever, and said, well, maybe I might write a few little anecdotes about what we did. And they, after a few days of talking it over, said, well, why don't we get a hold of, of Al and see if he'll help. So when Deke called me and said, would you help me write a book? I mean, I'm not going to tell my buddy sure. no, right? So that's how I got involved. And Deke and I, rather rapidly, because of his physical condition, did a lot of work on tape. Uh, all the first person stuff in this book is from us. Hmm. And of course, Howard and Jay, did the did the background the research from mm -hmm. their from all the files they had years of experience at the Cape, and it really is a very candid, a very candid tale of what space was all about from 1959 when we first got together, mm -hmm. until Deke, who was grounded in '62, finally flew in 1975. Uh, in matter of fact, we we we. Sp speak candidly as astronauts because Deke Fonny flew, as did I, and we also speak as managers mm -hmm. because we were both grounded and he and I ran the whole, the whole, whole astronaut mm -hmm. program. You know, we changed their diapers and... <laughs> you took care of them from everything, right? The care and feeding of astronauts, <laughs> right? That kind of a deal. 